Hey everyone, this is a tutorial on how I turn on my PC using my Google Assistant. So I posted a video of me turning on my PC using Wake Online by telling my Google Assistant to turn on my PC um, on Reddit. Hey Google, turn on the computer. Boot sequence initializing. and it, it got a bunch of comments of like, hey, how'd you do this? And a few people were requesting, so I figured I'd just do a quick tutorial on it. Um, first of all, what I'd like to say is if you've never done, if you've never turned on your PC using Wake on LAN, the first thing you wanna do is um, you'll need to enable that on your PC. Um, I'm not gonna go through that right now because it takes a little while and um, there's tons and tons of tutorials. If you just Google it, you can see there's so many tutorials and people who just are willing to, you know, do walkthroughs and tutorials on it. So um, first check that out. Make sure that you can use Wake Online with your PC, either through another computer or an app on your phone. Um, I personally figured it out using this uh, Depicus Wake Online free app with my phone. Um, and as long as you get the, the, like the Mac address and IP address and everything like that, then you should be good to go through what we're going to go through today. So first, uh, figure that out, make sure that you can turn on your PC and then going through these next steps is going to be a lot easier and you'll be able to do it, um, a lot better. So after you've figured out how to w turn on your PC using Wake on LAN, what you're going to want to do is download this app um, it's called macro this is what i use it's called macro droid um, go ahead and download it install it and what i did first is you go in here and you can do a lot of things you want to add a macro and what this does is you can set up triggers which is something that happens and when that thing happens on your phone then your phone will do an action here and so the action is like, um, you know, turn on your phone's flashlight or send a text message or something like that, you know. But in this case, we're going to send a, a magic packet to turn on the PC with Wake Online. The first trigger we're going to create is going to be a webhook. So if you just uh, go into the triggers and you select webhook here, then it will come up with a webhook. Um, in here, you can go ahead and type in an identifier. I'll just put wake, just it's something simple. You can see that it adds it to the end there. Um, this URL is what's going to be used to uh, trigger this macro to wake up your computer. So you can copy it now if you want. Um, you can always come back and copy it later. So put that in, click OK. Then you're gonna to go to the actions. The actions here is what's gonna happen once that URL gets pinged. And again, this app will create the webhook. You don't have to do anything extra or special. It's really nice and simple. So once that website gets visited or pinged or whatever, then it's gonna create, it's gonna do an it's gonna do an action. And so you're gonna to wanna to search for UDP. And it says here UDP command. You'll select this UDP command. And um, when you look at this, it's going to look very familiar to the information we saw with like the wake on LAN stuff, right? So it's going to show like IP destination here. It's going to have a port. And then there's this message part. So the message part is kind of tricky. Um, this is specific to MacroDroid, I think. Um, but you're going to have to type in um, this message and it starts, you start with a zero and then you put an X and then you're going to want to put 12 F's. 12. Okay. So zero, then X and then 12 F's. And then what you want to do is you want to get your Mac address and that, that zero and the X and 12 F's, that's just going to be the same for everybody. Okay. Then you want to get your Mac address and it's going to look something like this. You're going to see the, you know, CC colon 1F colon FF colon CC colon 2D colon 96, right? You'll want to put that in after all those Fs and you don't need to capitalize it or put any columns. So I'm going to put in CC 1F 
FFCC 2D 96. I'm just using the example picture they have on there, right? And um, what you're gonna do once you put that in, no colons or capitals or anything like that, um, the easiest way I found is to take that and copy it. And then what you're gonna have to do is paste it 15 more times so that that MAC address is repeated after 16 times total, okay? Um, an easy way I found to do this was just to get, get the information, put it in like a Google Doc, and then copy it and send it to myself with a text message or on Discord or something like that, right? And, um, and then just copy the whole string of text and then paste it in here. So um, once you have that, the zero, the X, 12 Fs, and then the MAC address in that format 16 times, um, make sure you have your port in there and then the destination now the tricky part with this destination um we're going to say 192 what is this uh, i'm going to use the screen here again 168.43 what you're going to want to do for the end part that last three digits you're going to want to put 255 again that end three of 255 that's going to be same for everybody that sets this up um that just lets the udp command you know that's awake on land um work so you set that up. Now, before you move on to the next part with IFTTT, make sure to test this out. The easiest way to do it is to touch the actions here on your phone, and you want to do uh, test action there. Um, make sure that that works. You know, turn off your computer, test action, make sure the UTB, UDP command is sending the magic packet to your computer and it's waking it up um, and if it's all good you know you could also try the url you know go in here and uh if you go to back into configure you can copy that url again um and then you know just open it up in a web browser or send it to your friend and have them you know uh, open up that uh, link and it, it should trigger the command so you test that out make sure that this works um, and so then once that works, then what you're gonna wanna do is go to IFTTT. And this is, uh, you can do this for free. I think you can do like three applets for free. If you wanna do more, you have to subscribe, but um, it's pretty cool. You can, it's kind of the same thing as the macro droid where you can do have triggers and it does something. You know, that's the, if this happens, then that, um, do that. Um, so um, we're gonna log in. Um, I'm just going to log in with my Google account and we'll go there. Um, once you're logged in or you create an account log in, then you're going to create, go up here and create an applet. So go up here to create and this here's the trigger here. So if this happens, what we want to happen is when you tell your assistant or your Amazon, uh, Alexa, um, if you tell them a certain phrase, then we want that to happen. So if uh, if I search here for Alexa, oops, Alexa, Amazon Alexa, you go here and it says say a specific phrase. This trigger fires every time you say Alexa, trigger, blah blah blah, right, whatever. So you'll tell it what to say. Um, on this, I don't have. You won't probably have your Google Assistant or Alexa connected. So I'm going to show you what it sh looks like. So you click on what you want. Then it comes up and here's, hey, um, you need to um, connect with your like. You got it. So um, you got to go through and connect on IFTTT. Make sure it's connected. Once you're connected, then it will be able to recognize your voice. It'll it'll connect with IFTTT. Um, so then what you want to do is once it's connected, I'm going to go to Google Assistant. Once it's connected, when you hit, say, a simple phrase, or, you know, say, then it'll come up and, and say, hey, create these trigger fields. So what do I want to say is uh, turn on the computer. Um, and then you can put in another way to say it. Like if you forget that you said turn on the computer, maybe you're going to say turn on my computer, right? Um, or another way is um, <laughs> boot boot it up <laughs> what you know whatever um so you can say put a different few different ways to say it and then what you want the assistant to say so this is going to put what you put in here is going to be what the response is from your smart device so um you say you know got it whatever whatever you want to say then you go here click uh create trigger and then the, that part which is the action part from ifttt go here to add and in this, you're going to search webhook. 
and this is going to make a web request so this is this is going to ping that web url so that's where we copied our url we want to paste it in this window this little um, field right here so um I'm just going to put that for example, because I don't have the, the URL, but this is where you put that URL from MacroDroid into, um, into the, um, into the IFTTT. So grab, grab that, put it in there. Method is going to be get, um, content type is just leave that there. You don't need additional headers or body. None of that. Just make sure it's Google or excuse me, make sure it's that URL and then get and create action. Then you hit continue and then it'll say it'll kind of give you um, a rundown of everything you review and finish it up and if you say this to your smart device then it's going to make a web request and you can have notifications whenever the applet runs if you want you don't have to um, then you click finish and what that's going to do is when you go to your when you go to MacroDroid, uh, it, it's going to send that webhook um, a ping you know a request and it'll trigger the macro on MacroDroid, and then MacroDroid will say hey we got a visit to that web url so let's do the the action and let's send the magic packet to the computer and turn on the computer um and that's about it so you've got those two kind of uh chains you know that connect with each other through a webhook url and um by doing it this way the cool thing is you can have it run uh, wherever you are you don't have to be on your network um, as long as you have like an extra device at home that has MacroDroid set up so for example i have this extra phone that just sits in my desk drawer um, and it just sits in there and um, if i'm at work or something oh, not at home and i want to remote into my computer i just go to that url and it'll trigger the macro on my extra phone that's in my drawer and it'll send the magic packet to my computer so i can turn it uh, on you know at work and remote in if i have to grab a file or need to check something or whatever so um that's about it if you guys have any questions uh feel free to let me know in the comments or uh, on the reddit post or whatever um happy to help clarify if i missed anything <laughs> um the tricky part is getting the wake on lens set up in MacroDroid, and like i said it's easiest if you get it set up like with a app that's just meant for wake on land first and kind of understand that make it work then it's easier to get that set up in macro droid um and then uh feel free to uh to subscribe to my channel too if you want if you found this helpful or you like it or whatever um and uh i go live sometimes i stream sometimes as well so you can turn on notifications uh when i'm live and you can ask me a question about this or whatever um or just check out the games that i like to play sometimes for fun um, anyway, I hope that this helps. Um, thanks everybody for watching and good luck setting it up.